Hey, y'all, wake up, man. Let me tell you something. See, there's a agenda in place, right? There's a system in place that's trying to destroy your masculinity as a male. There's a system in place trying to destroy the femininity of a woman to get up under a male and follow his lead and not theirs, right? This system is gonna try to keep you broke. It's gonna try to keep you depressed and always behind the eight ball. That way, whatever they throw at you, whatever they put in front of your face, you eat that shit up and then you do what they want you to do, right? You gotta understand what the hell is going on. You feel me? If you always stressed, you always depressed, you you always broke, you always uh, caught up in the next news or the next media, then you're gonna get caught up in the agenda and you'll be easily controlled, right? Don't you wanna create your own destiny? Don't you wanna create the life that you decide you want to create? Don't you want to create the family that you really want? Don't you want to thrive in this life, right? I could get, care less about a fucking recession. I could care less about a fucking, about fucking inflation. I could care less about whatever the fuck going on with laws and all this other shit that I cannot control. I could care less, right? I got put out of my mother's house around 17 going on 18. Y'all know this is around a 2007, 2008 um, recession, right? I ain't know what the hell was going on. All I was trying to do was go from being homeless and get me somewhere to stay. So I went and got me a job at a grocery store making 7 25 an hour. Got me a little apartment, little regular ass apartment. And, and I, I came from being homeless to that. Wasn't even thinking about a recession. Then at work, I'm trying to get promoted. I'm trying to make more money. I had to later grab me, buy me a car. I'm moving up. Even though it's supposed to be a recession, I'm moving up. But I wasn't tuned into the news. I wasn't watching the news. I was too busy busting my ass. And my mindset was on go from being homeless and get you a stable place to live. And then try to make more money because I had a daughter on the way. I wasn't even worm. I didn't even know it was a depression until, I mean, I didn't even know it was a recession until years later. And I was like, oh, that was a, a recession. When I started to learn about finances, and this probably was probably <laughs> over 10 years later. When I learned about, when I started learning about finances, of course, I started learning about recessions. I'm like, damn, I didn't even know it was a recession. Why? Because my mind was set on getting from where I, from being homeless to having a place to stay, to getting me a car, to making more money. That's all I cared about. I wasn't tuned into no news. I wasn't tuned into none of that bullshit. They couldn't use fear tactics on me or none of that shit. All I was trying to do was get better. So I'm telling you, right now they may say it's a recession. They may talk about inflation and they're passing 200 laws and the crash of the dollar and all this extra shit that's caught up. What you got going on in your life? How much shit you got going on in your life? What do you need to improve from yesterday to today, right? Focus on the mission at hand, and that's to be better than you was yesterday. If you get caught up in this news and all these agendas and all this bullshit, you're going to end up behind the eight ball because you're going to find yourself depressed, right, and stressed, worrying about some shit that you ain't got no control over. When what you do got control over is your fitness. You do got control over your mental health. You do got control over the things that you choose to focus on. And you do got control over whether you make more money or not. You got control over whether your family survives financially, physically, mentally, uh, uh, emotionally, and all of that. You're in control of that, right? And it starts with you and it starts within. Get your fucking mind off of the bullshit. You may have to turn off social media for a while. You may have to, 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 you know, tap out. Everybody always talking about tap in. You may have to tap out. 
you may have to tap out and get into doing something that matters, something that improves your life, your mental state, your physical state, your financial state, right? The shit that you know, right? You need to get to know you. Stop for a minute, pause, right? Wait. Get the fuck out the media. Stop watching these fucking TV shows. Get the fuck off of social media, right? Get the fuck out the news. Delete the CNN app. Delete the Fox app. Delete all that bullshit. Focus on what you did yesterday that you don't want to do today or that you need to get better at with today, right? If you tap up, tap out of all that shit and you focus on the things that you need to improve about yourself and your own mental, physical, and financial state, I guarantee you it's going to reduce your depression. It's going to reduce uh, your stress immediately because you're focusing on getting better and actually taking the action and actually doing what the fuck you say you're going to do, right? You understand? Learn how to tap out. Everybody want to tap in all the time. You need to learn to tap the fuck out and get the shit done that need to be done in your life. That's the only thing that matters. And it's the only thing you really got to fuck, got fucking control over, right? Stop worrying about the shit you can't control, man. Y'all wake y'all asses up.